70 high school girls from across Canada are participating in Ottawa's first ever overnight hackathon. It's a competition. They don't sleep at all, and they are working together to build video games. CTV's Camille Wilson was there. Batman? Staying up all night to play video games may sound like a teenager's dream, but when it's a hackathon game jam, it's about more than just playing games. For Sara Shirazi, this is her first time attending this type of event. I wanted the opportunity to program something interesting, design a game of my own with the support of my friends, of course. Um, I'm not very good at coding, and I really wanted to just get better, and I feel like practice is the way to do that. 70 students, 25 hours, one goal all divided into groups competing to build a video game from scratch. Shirazi says she just wants to make something she can be proud of. I'm a very, I want the experience of it type person, and so I would really enjoy the opportunity to like make something, as well as the opportunity to like meet so many other people. Like I see so many familiar faces, but there are also so many people I don't know. Um, and I would really like to like make new friends and really just get to know like the other people who are interested in similar things to me. With no previous experiences, the ladies will build their game through trial and error with coding, collaboration, imagination, and their creativity. If you have no coding experience, go to Hollywood. Within these next 25 hours, they will get to have fun, but most importantly, learn about through workshops and how to code. They will learn CSS, HTML, and different engines and um, languages. And at the end, I hope that everyone can build a game that they're proud of. It's the first ever all-girls hackathon in Ottawa, highlighting an industry that is generally male-dominated. I'm going to like write down some key ideas on my notebook, like sketch out what I want the game to look like, and just go on Canva and start designing it before I start coding it so that... I have all the designs out of the way before I like start coding. Through it all, plenty of learning opportunities. To make sure that we're taking intermittent, like five to ten minute breaks in between, because otherwise you kind of walk away from it and you come back and you see something totally new and you're like, oh wait, I should do this. Camille Wilson, CTV News. Uh,